Hi guys! Today's video is on a very important topic, but it's a topic that a lot of people don't really know much about. They don't really know where to start when it comes to this topic. I'm talking about diet and acne. The tricky thing about diet and acne is um, it's not black and white. There's a lot of gray area. And this is just because it's kind of a new area of research. Well, it, we've been researching it for a long time, but we're kind of just honing in on specific areas now. So we do have some studies to work with. We, we have quite a few really great informative studies on certain topics. But at the same time, a lot of the evidence is going to be based on anecdotes, which isn't a terribly strong um, piece of evidence, but using the information we do have and taking those anecdotes and putting that together, we're, we're able to make a much more um, educated guess, if you will, on what a good skin healthy diet looks like and what a skin unhealthy diet looks like. Despite the fact that there is some ambiguity, there is absolutely without a doubt no question that diet can and does affect our acne. There are people out there who will tell you that diet has no impact on acne, that it's all in your genetics, that it's all blah 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 blah, but if they haven't studied acne, they wouldn't know that inflammation is one of the root causes of acne and diet affects inflammation. Sure, there are other extenuating factors, but a lot of people don't realize just how much the food we feed our bodies can affect our inflammation. So today I want to go through a couple of categories of food, but before I do, I want you to keep in mind that this information, while it is factual and it is based in evidence, um, not every single case will apply to you. For example, um, I'm going to be talking about dairy and how dairy affects acne. And there, again, dairy is a very cut and dry area of diet and acne. We know that dairy affects acne on so many levels, on every level, it affects acne. However, not everybody is going to be affected by dairy when it comes to their acne. Personally, when I eliminated dairy from my diet before I went vegan, I did not see a change in my acne. So I knew that dairy wasn't a trigger for me. But that doesn't mean that dairy isn't a trigger, it just means it's not a trigger for you. So you may have to go through a trial and error, a process of elimination to find out which dietary foods may be uh, triggers for your acne. So the first one I want to go through, the first category is a fairly short list. It's foods you should avoid if you want to have clear skin. So the first one we'll talk about is sugary foods and sugary drinks. These are the foods that are going to affect your insulin levels. And for those of you who don't know, insulin does affect our acne. As insulin is a hormone, it can affect um, our hormone secretion and our endocrine function. And so it's important to understand not, how, not just how food affects our body, but how those effects can manifest. So if you're drinking um, pop, if you're drinking energy drinks, if you eat a lot of pastries made of um, white simple carbohydrates, then you're going to be getting an insulin spike. And this can lead to something called insulin resistance, which is a major factor when it comes to acne. And we know that insulin is a major issue, especially for people with hormonal acne. So that's definitely the first thing you're going to want to give the boot. Find a healthy alternative, drink a healthy juice, drink water, which is really all your body needs. The next thing you're going to want to minimize in your diet is um, fried foods. There are really no benefits to fried foods, so eliminating them from your diet or, or um, choosing healthier ways to cook them um, in an oil-free deep fryer or cooking without oil on a skillet, baking them, steaming, there are so many ways to cook without oil. The reason fried foods are a bad idea is plentiful. <laughs> But the main reason when it comes to acne is, again, inflammation. Fried foods are generally fried in high omega-6 um, oils. And so we need to maintain a delicate balance 
between um, omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids. And when fried foods make up a large part of our diet, we throw that balance off. And studies have shown that women in particular who have high levels of omega-6 in their diet actually have higher testosterone in their blood. These are the acne causing, the acne aggravating hormones. And so if omega-6s are raising these hormones in our body, that means that they could potentially be at the root of our acne. So reducing the amount of fried foods we eat can definitely help. The next thing you're going to want to eliminate is meat. This is because of, again, there's a lot of reasons, but the main reason is because of meat's high saturated fat content. Saturated fat content has been shown to increase inflammation in the body, and we know that inflammation leads to acne. So just like the omega-6s in the fried fatty foods are bad for your skin because of inflammation, so is the saturated fat in meat. And the final category of things you should avoid in your diet, I think everybody should eliminate it from their diet because we have no need for it, and that is dairy. Dairy literally hits every single biological pathway that we currently know to cause acne. So now that we know the foods we want to keep out of our diet, let's look at some of the foods that we want to include more of in our diet. We're left with the food that is best for us, which is plants, which is legumes, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, all of the best stuff. Fruits and vegetables, all of the plants we can eat, they contain so many great things that can help our skin. They contain fiber, which helps keep our digestive system functioning properly. They contain valuable nutrients, vitamins and minerals. They contain antioxidants, which are amazing for our skin, especially for fighting inflammation, which we keep coming back to because it is so, so important. Eat lots of foods that hydrate your body, foods that are high in water, like cucumber and watermelon. Drink water regularly and drink lots of green tea and drink lots of spearmint tea. You really can't go wrong with eating plants. I can't, off the top of my head, think of a plant that is very bad for your skin except in extenuating circumstances for the average person for you and me just average joe we need a diverse array of plants in our diet so we need lots of color we need greens and oranges and reds and purples and blues and greens and every other color we need those colors in our diet while it's important to say yeah here are some great foods we can add to our diet like chia seeds and kale we also need to focus on the larger picture that we're including a diversity of foods in our diet. And the best way to keep your skin clear is to eat a well-balanced diet. And yes, a well-balanced diet can include snacks. Now, I've saved the best for last because I think it is one of the biggest areas of misunderstanding when it comes to diet and acne. And this has to do with fat. We need healthy fats in our diet because dietary fat affects things like androgen secretion. And we also need fat, a, a proper amount of fat, to absorb fat-soluble vitamins like vitamins A, vitamin K, vitamin E, all of which are important for our skin. So without adequate fat in our diet, our body could potentially not be absorbing these nutrients properly and nutrient deficiencies can result in acne. In terms of low dietary fat, this can actually lead to things like dermatitis. It can lead to rough, scaly skin and anything that upsets the balance of the skin is going to affect how it functions. And so any dead skin that's on our, our sur the surface of our face can clog our pores. And if we couple this with other poor dietary choices that promote inflammation, you've got acne. Studies have shown that high fat diets, high fat meals can actually lower your testosterone, testosterone significantly and low fat, high carb meals actually, you got it, increase that testosterone. 
all of the major um, diet and health groups across the world recommend a range of healthy fat percentage of calories from about 15% of calories to 35% of calories from fat. Um, and this will vary depending on your needs. Because our dietary fat is so important for proper endocrine function, and because I suffer from hormonal acne, I am particularly affected by things that affect my testosterone and whatnot because my skin is very sensitive to changes in my hormones. So when I'm eating things that are low fat and I'm restricting my fat actively, then my body's testosterone androgens are going to increase and this is going to result in more acne on my skin because my skin is so sensitive to these changes. I find that by keeping my fat um, very high, not very high, but quite high by most standards, I'm able to keep my skin looking clear. Like, I don't wanna brag, but look at how good my skin looks. I have worked my butt off to learn this stuff, to inform myself about what is good to eat, what's not good to eat, everything I want to know about acne. You know, I want to understand the way my body works and why my acne is manifesting. And so I have put my blood, sweat, and tears into learning this stuff so that you don't have to. I want to tell you what's in these studies so that it's accessible to you. So to sum it all up, the best way in my opinion to have clear skin when it comes to having a clear skin diet is keep healthy fats in your diet to a good amount of your calories, um, avoiding things like meat and dairy, processed, fatty, fried, sugary foods kept to a minimum. Um, eating a diverse array of fresh fruits and vegetables, frozen fruits and vegetables, canned, however you need to get them, you can get them in you. Um, eliminating things like grains and um, soy, these things may help. Um, the only way you're going to know is by process of elimination, trial and error. You can eliminate these things from your diet, but I would highly recommend that if you don't see improvements within a couple of months that you add them back into your diet. And if you wanted to do a complete elimination of gluten, I would at least recommend starting with uh, eliminating all gluten and then try adding back in whole grains. So if you notice your acne improves with eliminating all gluten, try adding back in those healthy grains to see that it see if it's the, um, the sugar and the white grains that are causing the issues or if it's just all gluten for you. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's been informative and I hope that walking away from this you have a better understanding of the kinds of foods you should eat, the kinds of foods you should avoid, and a little bit of the misinformation that's out there. Thanks for watching.